we want to evaluate the indefinite integral or find the antiderivative. When the integrand contains powers of sines and powers of cosines, the trig function with the odd power indicates our strategy. So notice in this example, we have sine squared x, so the power on sine is even, and we also have cosine to the fifth x, so the power on cosine is odd. So to review from a previous lesson, if the power of the cosine is odd, we save one cosine factor and convert the remaining factors to sines. The reason we'll do this is we'll let u equal sine x, and therefore differential u will be equal to cosine x dx. So notice that differential u is equal to cosine x dx. This is the reason why we save one factor of cosine. And while we're here, if the power of the sine is odd, then we save one sine factor and convert the remaining factors to cosines. So going back to our example, since we have an odd power of cosine, we'll save one factor of cosine. So to begin, let's rewrite this as the integral of sine squared x times, we'll write cosine to the fifth x as cosine to the fourth x times cosine x. And again, the reason we're doing this is we're going to let u be equal to sine x, which means differential u will be equal to cosine x dx. So notice using this first equation, we could replace sine squared x with u squared, and then using the second equation here, we could replace cosine x dx with differential u which leaves us with this cosine to the fourth x, which we're going to write in terms of sine, so we can then write it in terms of u. So using the identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals one, or more specifically, cosine squared x equals one minus sine squared x, we'll perform a substitution for cosine to the fourth x. So we'll write this as integral of sine squared x, and then because cosine to the fourth x is really cosine squared x squared, we can write this as the quantity one minus sine squared x squared, and then we still have cosine x dx. And now we should be able to write this in terms of u, since u is equal to sine x, this would be u squared, this would be the quantity one minus u squared squared, and this would be differential u. So we'll have the integral of u squared, and then we have the quantity one minus u squared squared, and then differential u. So now we have some algebra here in terms of u, so we'll square this binomial and then distribute the u squared. So for one minus u squared squared, we'll have one minus u squared times one minus u squared. So let's write this as the integral, we have u squared, then we multiply this out, we'll have one minus u squared minus u squared, that's minus two u squared, and then negative u squared times negative u squared is plus u to the fourth, differential u. Now we'll distribute, so we'll have the integral of u to the second minus two u to the fourth plus u to the sixth, differential u. And now we can finally integrate in terms of u using the power rule of integration. So we'll have u to the third divided by three minus two times u to the fifth divided by five and then plus u to the seventh divided by seven plus c. And now let's write this in terms of x by substituting sine x for u. Let's write this as one third sine cubed x, and then minus two fifths sine to the fifth x, and then plus one seventh sine to the seventh x plus c. This would be our antiderivative. So again, the thing to remember here is if we have an odd factor of cosine x, we save one factor of cosine x, and let u equal sine x. I hope you found this helpful.